Jesus. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Ethan Di. I work with Camellia and Cedric. Oh, pardon. paper we focus on uh, a very fundamental but uh, interesting and important problem at the graph partitioning. Okay. Mm. Uh, first, uh, we, I would like to introduce the motivation. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't repeat the, uh, why we need to partition the graph. Well, because most of the real world graphs cannot fit into the main memory of a standalone machine, so we need to split. Of course, you can have any other options like the stream systems or uh, use a very high performance computer. That's okay. So uh, if we split graph, we have uh, some model to use, uh, but the most used model is the Pragel and some others like used in the, like the, the Jira, but it's very similar to the Prejil. And uh, uh, in the previous works, the, uh, most of the graph partition method uh, only consider the underlying structure of the uh, graph. Okay, that's good. And, but uh, they never think, um, okay, I, I cannot say they never, but uh, they rarely think about uh, uh, the properties of the uh, graph many algorithm they used to uh, over the graph. So uh, in this paper, we, we will uh, think about uh, both of these problem, uh, how to split the graph and uh, the properties of the algorithms uh, which you uh, implemented over the graph. And uh, okay, so the, the volume is always <laughs> the, the first problem. I don't repeat it, but uh, we, I would like to review some uh, specific uh, properties of the uh, social graph, because this paper we focus on the social graphs. And uh, the first one is the polo degree, and uh, it's very obviously because uh, uh, in the social graph, uh, a later part of uh, node, uh, have uh, a large part of the connections, uh, like the, for example, the Obama has uh, millions of connections, and uh, for some nobody like me, I have only 200 connections. So, and uh, some other properties here, I, I, I have no time to, uh, to introduce them in details, and uh, I think they are very obvious. The high density and uh, some, and the tiny need communities exist and some, and also like the dynamic and something like that. And uh, how, to, uh, how to partition a graph? Uh, in the, in maybe before uh, three years ago, uh, they, most of the, the graph partitioning methods are based on the vertex uh, partition. It means uh, we split the graph by the, uh, with the vertex, I mean by vertex. But uh, from the, uh, the power graph, I mean the second version of the graph life, uh, they uh, proposed to use, uh, to, to, to split the graph by edge. Why, why we should do that? Because in the most of the real world graph, like the social network and the wipe graphs, uh, if you split the graph by vertex, it will lead to the workload balance, unbalanced problem. Because, uh, like what I said before, if we split the graph, uh, just think about it, uh, if one partition uh, are made of uh, many very important persons, for example, Obama, Salali, and like that, and, the, and another partition is made of many nobody persons. So the, 
in that in the first position, the workload is very high because uh, if for if the algorithm you used on that on the over the graph is a is a, a high high computation uh, on vertex. I, I, I'm not sure. If you, I'm not sure you understand. But so the first partition is a very high workload, but the second one is not. It's it's low. So uh, that that that's the workload unbalanced problem. So they propose to use the edge partition method. It's very good on the workload balance problem, but it the shortcoming is it will lead to the com compute com mm, sorry communication problem. Mm, but I should give you so. In the first one, it's a traditional method. The communication is uh, uh, happened between the IG's cut between the two partition. I'm not sure you can understand. Oops, I should have thought. And uh, for the new partition model, the communication it happened between the master vertex and its mirror. So you can understand the communication, the complexity of the communication is, uh, is, uh, can, uh, is approximated to the number of the vertex. So there is some existing uh, method proposed in the new papers. Uh, I want to give you the details, but uh, the most, uh, uh, the, the biggest problem is the a high communication. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, in our approach, uh, we would like uh, the idea is very straightforward and uh, and simple. Uh, we we want to consider because I want I would like to mention that. Uh, we focus on the random walk uh, algorithm uh, because uh, random walk uh, is um, um, it's very useful and it's uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a base of our many uh, graph mining algorithm from the similarity computation to the linkage prediction. There is a lot of uh, algorithm like the. You can use the uh, random walk to compute the uh, the page rank, the personalized page rank, the trust walk, the same rank, the many a lot of uh, random walk. So uh, we, if we focus on the random walk uh, algorithm, we need we a good partition should have uh, should has a good locality. So the first step in our approach is we want to uh, build many blocks uh, from the graph, the whole graph, and then we merge the blocks to construct the final partition. And uh, in the process of the partitioning, uh, we should consider two problems. The first one is the communication cost. Because normally in the in the existing system, the communication is uh, might be the bottleneck of the overall perform performance, and uh, also at the same time we need to consider the workload balance. Okay, so the main idea is uh, our method is the seed sensitive method. It means. Uh, uh, first, we, it, the, the, the main idea actually is quite similar to the community detection procedure. So the first step is we need to select uh, several seeds. The number of seeds is, is the same to the number of uh, blocks you want to uh, build. And uh, around one seed, we build a block. 
and uh, if that block, if if one block there, if there exist the blocks are very large, it means I mean too large uh, than a partition, too large than the upper bound. We need to divide it again, but actually in practice it um, it never happened. But anyway, we need uh, to think about it. And uh, then the 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 uh, the last step is we need to allocate the blocks to get the final balance partition. And this is the detailed steps. But, uh, uh, for the strategy of uh, the seed selection, we use a very simple strategy. It's a, uh, it, uh, we first step, we only consider the degree of uh, each vertex, each node, and uh, the, so the, the maximum, the, dig, uh, the node with maximum degree uh, will be selected as the first seed, and then uh, all the all the, uh, the second, uh, I mean, the, the node with the second degree would be selected, but if it's uh, connected directly to the first one, it won't be selected. Because like, just imagine, if in the White House, the Obama is selected as a seed, and we want to uh, build a block around the Obama, and we never, want to uh, select the Shilali as a second seed. It's not, it's not good. And uh, after we build the blog, and, uh, okay, this is the details of how to build the blog. In the, uh, in the, in the building of a blog, we uh, use the, um, the closeness score. Here I said is the distance score. It's a, uh, it's like uh, we should consider uh, if I'm I'm the seed and there is another vertex. How to can, how to measure the the closeness score between us? Here uh, we consider all the paths, all the passes between us. But the passes should be uh, the length of the passes should be limited to a precise uh, parameter. Okay, the formula is very simple, so I won't give you the input. So here's an example. For example, this path is good, 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 good. But that, this path is not good because it's too long. And you can, actually, you can use this uh, step. You can pre-insight the parameter to control the the computation complexity and the, uh, the time consuming. You need to make a trade off. Okay. And this is another thing, example of the IG allocation. For example, uh, for the, this, the IG, the right one, uh, the, for its uh, one, End node has, uh, has two score to the seed one and seed two, and for the another one, hit. and then you can get the final score, and and then you found uh, the score to the seed one is uh, larger, so this edge will be allocated to the seed one. Seed one it means the block one. Okay, uh, this is the strategy of the block division. Actually, it, mm, in, in, our uh, in our practice, I mean, in our experiments, this strategy is not uh, used because uh, uh, it, so far it never happened. Uh, one block is uh, larger than one partition. It means it, it, it doesn't happen, but we need uh, this strategy because it may it made happen. So if, uh, for example, in this, uh, Block building the uh, result, uh, the block one is uh, similar. Uh, obviously, the block one is too large, and uh, we need to. But, sorry.
Okay, it's good. The block three is good. It, it's too big, and uh, we need to think about this I. No, so we have other choice because uh, we can uh, in practice. In practice, maybe we don't uh, keep all the scores to. I mean, we we don't need to keep all the scores to every seed, but we need to keep uh, several scores because maybe if you need this strategy, you have uh, other choice, not only the first choice. So you move you move the IG to the block two. And also you can move the IG to the blocks. Okay. Uh, finally we can get a relatively balanced partition. And uh, this is the constraints of the partition size. Uh, we give we defend the upper bound and uh, the lower bound. Okay, um, in the experiments, we use the two the data sites from the SNAP. And uh, okay, uh, the first one has around five million vertex and uh, 600, no, 60 million edges. And the second one has uh, around 1.6 million uh, nodes and uh, 30 million edges. It's not that big. Mm -hmm. Okay. and. Um, Almost we use the Spark to run our experiments, and we implement some graph mining algorithms, and we use it to do the partitioning. Um, mostly, there is two major, two two way to uh, measure the uh, the communication cost. The first one is the vertex replication factor. Uh, I don't know it's, uh, if you can understand. It means because in I have say, I have said uh, in the second uh, in the latest uh, partitioning method, the way partitioning way partitioning the graph by edge. So that means the vertex uh, in one partition the vertex uh, has uh, its master, but in another partition, uh, the, this vertex has its mirror. So in this case, the vertex, this vertex is uh, replicated. So uh, the, the vertex replicate factor is means uh, the average number of uh, vertex replications in the in overall. Okay. And uh, you can say in the result of the way, there's uh, several existing partition method. The first one is our method. So you can say the, the result is quite good compared to the other method. I think it's uh, quite obvious. But and also we uh, we we count the exact number of the messages between the partition. I mean the message transfers between the partition, and uh, we can say the we reduced the the, the message uh, significantly. And uh, here. Uh, this, this picture is not for this paper, it's another, another one. Uh, we, can, we can say the, random, the only things I want to highlight is the random walk always, we, because we have an intuition for the random walk algorithm, and we say the random walk always would like to stay in that uh, uh, community. I mean the topologies, uh, uh, the topology the community. So uh, in this uh, uh, demo, we can say it always the, uh, the, the colorful nodes are the, uh, the track of the random work. And if the uh, 
then if the, the circle is bigger, it means uh, uh, the random walk visit this node uh, many times. In this demo, I think it's uh, uh, the length of the random walk is 200, uh, and the, the black node is the, star, is the start of the random walk. So it always uh, stays in that right block. And also, this is uh, the track of the random walk. Uh, uh, the first one is our method. We can say uh, the blue bar is means uh, uh, if a random walk visit a vertex, if that vertex has the replication in other partition. For example, uh, in the first step, uh, the random walk come here, visit this vertex, and this vertex has the replication, has the replication in the partition two, uh, and uh, it's mirrored in the partition one. So uh, we need to uh, uh, make the node the, I mean, mm, uh, uh, car, I mean, make the, the car, the, the, uh, the, the the partition one and the partition two with the blue color. So normally, in this picture, the the communication can be uh, can be seen as the 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 whole uh, the overall blue bar, the lens of so so the first one is ours and it works well. And uh, also for some other experiments, for example, the, the runtime, we can say our method, because the, uh, as I have said, uh, the communication is uh, made by the bottleneck. Because, for example, we use the Spark. We can control the communication in, in the main memory. So you can say it, it's computed very quickly, but the communication, sometimes the traffic, Will, would be the bottleneck. So if we reduce the communication significantly, the overall runtime is also reduced. And some or some we 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 test it on the several graph or mining algorithm, the high communication and low communication algorithm. Okay, so Finally, we, in this paper, we propose a uh, graph partitioning method, and uh, uh, like the traditional and uh, existing method, we reduce the, com we not only give a workload balance partitioning, we also reduce the, the communication, but especially we, at the same time, we think about the properties of the random work, the specific graph many of them, and uh, it worked uh, much better than compared to the existing method. And the reason what, uh, because I have said, uh, we need to merge the blocks together uh, to get the final partition, and how to merge them. In the current paper, we only consider the, 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 the volume, the size of the block, but in the, in our latest work, we propose another method, and uh, it works. Uh, it it works much better than the current one, than this one. And uh, in the future work, uh, I would like. I I think the the, the data size we use the right now is not enough. It's it's too small. We you need know, to scale to large growth, and also we want. We need to think about it, how to partition not only this kind of uh, simple graph. We also think about how to, for example, the, because in the real world uh, graphs like the social network, we have, uh, for example, the Facebook, we have not only one type of uh, connections, we have, we have like, we have follow, we have some other connections, so the real world graph is complicated. We how to split this kind of graph and uh, 
we need to do something. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Some questions? Uh, to be sure to have uh, understand uh, everything, so in slide uh, nine, you present your measure for the score nine. Uh, so if I uh, remember well, uh, you have to consider the set of path at all the paths. Yes. Yes. So the pre-process can be very important in terms of. Uh, Power consumption. Yes. And, and uh, okay. yes, so for larger graph. Yes. Are you afraid of this? <laughs> no, actually, it's not a problem because uh, the whole the we don't we don't compute this uh, thing for each vertex. We only compute this for the seed. For example, the graph is very large, but we have uh, we want to part we want to have ten partition. Uh, first, we need to build 1,000 block, just for example. So for the 1,000 block, each block has a seed. So 1,000 seed, it means 1,000 nodes. For each node, we just compute this. And actually, you can control it. For example, you just limit, you give a limit to the length of the path, the maximum, the maximum path. For example, you want you 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 don't you think uh, okay if a path is uh, uh, is uh, longer than five steps I mean five hopes uh, it's not it's not uh, important okay we can limit the length of the path to five and uh, then the committee is very simple just uh, like the like the BFS do you know okay around the seed you need you just uh, Compute this like a BFS. So this this uh, this um, say. this complexity and this uh, th I mean uh, this precise is complexity and uh, time consuming is quite low actually. Especially if you partition the graph, you, I mean. It's not. It's not a problem. Be because for uh, read graphs, you have many small cycles. So yes, yes, cycle is a problem. Um, actually, I, yes. To be honest, in this paper, we we don't think about the cycles, but uh, uh, us, um, <laughs> in my opinion, the cycle is not. A because actually, in the, we 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 we, do, we use the, the data sites in our experiment is uh, from the real world. So uh, I'm not sure there the, there are many cycles in uh, in their data sites. But um, so far, the results of that uh, data sites are good. So I'm not sure the cycle is a problem. <laughs> Maybe I should. Okay, I, I should I should made a graph with many cycles and to test if our method can work well on this kind of data size. But for now, the, this method can work well on the two real world graph. Other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.